Welcome to Marine Tech Hub. Today I like to explain about variable frequency drive and its troubleshooting. So one of the important thing which I want to tell you is I am giving online training to my members who are interested to start their own workshop so that you can repair this VFD. The cost of this VFD in this case this is around 85,000 when it is not working the value is almost nothing zero so people who want to join the membership I'll be giving you online training okay so in this picture you can see this is the monitor here which we need to program it the program you have to program means you have to feed in the data of the motor you have to feed in the data of the encoder Elevator has got encoder here. Encoder will be connected. Connections will be given. I will show you. This is Phrenic uh, VFD. So I will be using the uh, meter. This is a multimeter. This is the tongue meter. So which I will be using to measure the diode and other things. I opened the VFD here. You can see. So if you see this is the input side okay one two three this is the input and this is the output side suppose you don't get the reading properly in the input side that means that is the rectifier side and this output side is the IGBT side so how the variable frequency drive is working is the input is AC then it is converted into DC and again DC is converted to AC so we are trying to uh, make the frequency in different uh, level so we increase the frequency to increase the RPM so in this picture you can see uh, this board normally what happens is in this board we got a optocoupler optocoupler is trying to safeguard your circuit from primary circuit to the secondary circuit so most of the defects happen in the optocoupler so I will be explaining you regarding this so we have a plus and minus here this is where the capacitor bank is there okay I'll just show you so I have just given the power supply here and I am keeping the multimeter plus and minus this is the DC I can see it's showing 592 old DC okay so what we are trying to tell you is the AC which is given input is converted to DC DC is right now 592 then this DC is again converted to AC here ok if you want this use this VFD drive for the solar system ok without giving input AC input the solar DC which is coming you can give straight away here into these points and this DC which is coming from the solar will give an output here uh, AC and AC will be varying depends on the uh, what time the solar is suppose the early morning it will be less uh, as you approach noon time the RPM of the motor will increase to full speed so the same VFD can be used for running the motor when we don't have any uh, EB power or the electricity board power is not there so this is used even for the agriculture purpose only thing is instead of giving uh, actual power from EB here we are giving DC power from the solar ok so I will be explaining in more detail about the other defects so you can see I have given the power here I have been given the power and you can see the display coming over here so this display we need to go into the program step by step and you have to feed in the different parameters of the motor that is one and if you are using lift we will have encoder encoder again you have to feed here then you can run the system ok this is for the lift and you can see pico dynamic this is also a variable frequency drive we have for LNT also and we have other drives also so pico dynamic this is used for opening and closing of the door lift or the elevator so somebody was asking PDF uh, folder 
which is not available in the Google Drive, Google system. And if you want the PDF of this, uh, please get the membership level 5. I will be sending you separately. Okay, so programming part also can be done. I have shown the programming part in one of the video for the VFD here. This is one more VFD, this is Danfoss. You can see, this is the monitor here where you need to use it for programming. So this Danfoss VFD, we are using it in our complex, uh, that is uh, in our apartment, Mantri Synergy apartment in Chennai. We are using this drive to maintain the pressure in the pipeline because we do not have any overhead tank. So we run the VFD continuously. That means the motor is running continuously to maintain a pressure of 5 bar. So what is happening is whenever the demand is more, that means more people are using the water, that means the pressure will drop. When the pressure drops, the Denfors will sense the pressure drop and it will increase the RPM. So this is a continuous process. So this is very important for multi-story building where we do not have a overhead tank. Okay, very important. I am even showing you how to repair the uh, parts of the Danfoss. You can see I have removed all of them. You can see this is the IGBT and this is the capacitor here. I will be explaining you in detail all the parts, how to repair it. So people or person members can join and take the advantage of my training. People are calling me all over the world. So if you like the video, please subscribe. And uh, if, if you have any message, uh, send me on my WhatsApp and also on the